G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And recent viewers of my channel may have noticed that along with the traditional Accord content, there are a few more BMW videos starting to appear on the channel. And it's no secret that I am starting to become a bit of a fan of these things. Now, most of the ones that I've driven have been the sort of 2000s or 2010s era, but a lot of people hail the E30 as being one of the best handling and best driving rear wheel drive sports coupes from the era. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this replica 318IS drives. In terms of exterior styling, the boxy coupe look of these cars I think looks absolutely fantastic, especially for a car that's over 30 years old now. They're just a really timeless design. It almost reminds me of like a, a that Datsun race car look. I don't really know why, it just sort of reminds me of that. But on these aftermarket wheels and everything, and then with the sports kit and the lip around the front and the projector lights at the front there, it just is kind of a, an interesting mishmash of modern car aesthetics, but with the old car styling, I suppose you could say. And overall, I think it looks really, really cool, especially in this nice gray color. The engine fitted to this BMW 318iS is an M42 B18, which is actually out of the newer E36 318iS. It's a 1.8 liter twin cam inline four, makes about 145 horsepower, and in the case of this, is paired up with a five-speed manual transmission with a limited slip differential, and in natural BMW fashion, it is, of course, rear-wheel drive. The interior of the E30 is very, 1980s in here where everything is very boxy and all the panels like they've like left a gap and then gone right there's the climate control box and they're just going to stick it in there nothing is like molded into the dash it's all just a big bit of dash with holes in it and they've just filled it with stuff but overall i'm quite impressed with the build quality i've got to say the way the steering wheel the momo steering wheel that he's put in this feels really nice very period correct and stuff like the light switches the indicator stalk it all just has this nice tactile mechanical clicky feel to it i absolutely love the gauges on them it shows all the information that you need the owner of this is obviously put in a momo steering wheel which feels fantastic and and fishnet Recaros, which hold you in very well and sit extremely low, they're literally just on the floor. But overall, I would say for the era, it's a pretty well built car with a decent amount of room, especially in the back seat and definitely up here. It's very spacious, very airy, there's good visibility in here, and it just feels like a car that you want to go out and drive. So let's go and do just that. Driving the BMW 318iS. This car feels so race car, it's absolutely insane. It's a really quick revving little engine, eh? And it sounds good. Very different to what I'm used to in the Honda world, but it goes well. For a 1.8, he's got a short shifter in the transmission. Let me tell you, this is one of the best feeling gearboxes I've ever used. It just feels like such a playful and really, really fun car. Oh, imagine having this thing on a track day. How good would it be? It just feels so nimble. Oh, and it even smells like an old BMW in here. <laughs> I can absolutely see why people like these. I've got to admit, the steering is quite over-assisted, which has surprised me. It's very light steering, and it's reasonably direct, and the car definitely changes direction really quickly, but I wouldn't necessarily call it, like, you know, really involving steering, you know? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll definitely go sideways, man. This thing is brilliant. So, so easy to drive. It sounds good. It's got an amazing feeling gearbox. Really, really responsive engine, thanks to that light and flywheel. It just puts a massive smile on your face. So the pros, it sounds really good. Transmission feel is fantastic. It'll go sideways at a moment's notice. It's so easy to control. The chassis just feels so well balanced. The pedal box is really tight. Mate, back in the day, I can absolutely see why the E30 M3 was the car of choice in the Touring Car Championships. Because with the 2.3, with just a bit more power and the balance of this chassis, it is next level how well this car drives. And yet it's still comfortable and it doesn't even really rattle that much like it does a little bit but it's a pretty awful bit of road but in general mate it's it's just nice well there we go thanks very much for watching this episode of kiwi carlo 
I certainly enjoyed it an awful lot. And if you want to see some more reviews of BMWs I've done in recent times, then click over here to see me reviewing a 325 Ci. <laughs> that never gets old. And click over here to see me reviewing a newer 535i. And I will very much look forward to seeing you again next time.